Hello guys, Kat Valk here and welcome to another artsy video. Today I'm gonna do a little review for you and the thing I'm gonna take a closer look at is this art snack box. So this is one of these boxes that you can subscribe to and get one sent home to you every month. And the best part is that it's filled with delicious art supplies. So Art Snacks were kind enough to send this to me so I could do this review, but I'm not paid or anything. So all I say in this video will be my honest opinion, so don't worry about that. Also feel free to subscribe to my channel, it really helps me out and you won't miss out many of my artsy videos. You can also follow me on Instagram or Twitter, I post a bunch of drawings and working progresses and cats over there. So I will take a look at all the supplies and stuff inside the box and then try them out and let you know what I think about them and the box in general, so stay tuned for that. And no, I'm not gonna do free art boxes every month, this is more like a guest appearance kind of. So this box is from the US and they ship worldwide and I think it's free shipping inside the US but it's $10 for the rest of the world which isn't that bad. And as you can see the box isn't that big so it fitted perfectly in my mailbox without any trouble. And parts of the supplies came nicely wrapped in this green paper. And then I'm just looking through the supplies to see what I got. And I will go more into details about them in just a moment. I will leave a link down in the description to where you can get one of these boxes if you would be interested. So let's take a closer look at the stuff inside the box. Here we have a little art snack sticker and it's a pencil pretzel. Very cute. And a very soft and deformed Laffy Taffy candy, it has been sitting a whole day in a very hot mailbox. And then we have this information card that does not only tell you all about the supplies, but also the retail prices. So you will know how much they cost in store. So this box is $20 and the supplies inside are worth about $27 if I counted correctly. So you would save $7 to get the box instead of getting all the supplies in stores. That's if you didn't pay the $10 shipping for the box. I really like this card, it's very informative and you can easily read about all the different materials. And now to the supplies in the box. First is this general cedar point graphite pencil, extra soft and according to the info card it's made with genuine cedar and buttery graphite core. Sounds yummy. Now you understand why I call art supplies delicious. It feels nice and soft to hold and it got a little eraser at the end. Next we got the Crink K90 paint marker and I got a similar product by the same brand in the previous sketch box but that was more like a crayon. This one you are supposed to press this rubber end and to push the ink out or the paint I mean out to the rollerball end. I hope it doesn't smell as bad as the other one. And it feels quite heavy as well and it's actually the most expensive supply in this box, it cost $12. Then we have a little bottle of neon yellow acrylic ink from De La Rooney and you can use this with water to get a watercolor effect and I actually have one of these already but it's white. One thing I think is very nice is that it got a built-in pipette which makes it a lot easier to move the ink out of the bottle. A very interesting color, I don't know if it shows up too well on camera though, but neon yellow would not be the first color of my choice, so this will be very interesting to make something with, but I already got some ideas what I would like to do with this. Then to the last supply in the art snacks box, and it's a Kuretake brush 2O, or brush H2O, however you like to pronounce it. So this is a paintbrush that you can fill up with water. I haven't used this kind of brush before, but I guess you just press it to get more water out to the brush. I've seen many artists using these kinds of brushes, so I got curious and now I can finally try it out myself. And it's pretty funny actually, just the day before I received this box I was on eBay just about to purchase one of these. Good thing I didn't order one then. Now thinking about it, I already got one of these Kuretake brush pens that is filled with ink and it looks just exactly the same as the paintbrush. 
Another card is just a discount code for the Crink products and also a little card that tells you about the Art Snack Travel Collection and if you want to learn more about that you can go to their website. So that's all the stuff and supplies inside the box. Now I'm gonna try them out and let you know what I think about them and this box. I'm starting with trying out all the supplies on a piece of paper as usual to see what I got to work with. And the Crink paint marker seems very interesting. The paint comes out very thick and pretty looking. And the neon yellow acrylic paint is very fluorescent, almost a bit to the green kind of. Uh, it doesn't show up that well on camera though, but imagine like this reflective vest in liquid form. I had a little trouble figuring out what I wanted to do with these supplies since they are all quite different and I wanted them all to show through in the drawing. So I started making this face with a cedar point graphite pencil and I really liked this pencil, it was very soft and pigmented but it didn't feel like a normal soft graphite pencil, I don't really know how to explain it but I liked it anyway even though it smudged a lot, that's why I keep this paper under my hand but it was pretty easy to erase. Then I filled the paintbrush with water and I first thought I could just put it in my water jar and suck up the water but it didn't work that well so I had to fill it up under the tap in the kitchen. So I just pressed it when I wanted water to come out to the brush itself, but not too hard though if you didn't want the water to end up as a big blob on the paper. The yellow paint was super fun to work with, I really enjoy working with these types of mediums like liquid paint and ink, and I used it for the flowers and her hair. Uh, the brush and paint worked well together, but I guess this is the kind of brush you want to use when working with more watery watercolor techniques. And since there is water inside the brush, the paint got a little more diluted and thin. And I said before that I wanted to try to fill the brush with the paint, but I have no idea if you can get it clean afterwards, and I didn't want to ruin it before I had a chance to try it with my watercolors. When I tried the supplies before, I noticed that the paint in the Crink paint marker could be used with water before it dried and reacted a bit like ink. So I took my mixing palette and drew with a marker in one of the cups and got this little pool of paint in the bottom that I then dipped the brush in. Worked really well actually and the paint was very pigmented. Then I also took the paint marker itself and made like dots in the middle of the flowers to get this free look and I used the black paint for the background as well. I first soaked the paper and then dipped the brush with the paint in the water and let it spread. So what do I think about the Art Snack subscription box? Well, my first impression was minimalistic and clean. The box itself doesn't got any fancy stuff on it, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. In that way I guess they can keep the prices down. It's one of the least expensive boxes that I know about and I'm pretty sure that many could actually afford this one. They didn't have any featured artists, which I kind of miss a little. I think it's a good way for artists to get noticed and it's also a bit of inspiration for the one receiving the box. There weren't a lot of supplies in the box, which is perfectly understandable due to the price, but one of the pens was more than half the price of the box, so you could have gotten two other supplies instead. But on the other hand, it felt like the supplies inside were of good quality and that's also very important. Um, and I liked the information card, that it was easy to read and that you could see what each of the material costed. And then, as I always say, I think these kinds of boxes are a great way to find out about and try out new supplies. And sometimes they send out stuff that you can't even get in stores. It's also nice to get a little surprise every month. And if you think it sounds interesting, just give it a try. Uh, I could definitely consider getting this box again. The only thing really that would make me not wanting it is the shipping cost. But then again, if you live inside the US, the shipping is not a problem. But overall, I think there's a lot more pros than cons, so thumbs up for this box.
And before ending this video, I didn't really have any least favorite supply in this art snacks box. All the supplies were pretty equal and fun to work with. Um, well, one thing I actually didn't like was the color of the Daily Rooney acrylic ink. I, um, but I like this paint itself though. If I'm gonna pick my favorite, it has to be the Cedar Point graphite pencil. I really enjoyed working with that one. I hope you like this drawing slash painting and that you enjoyed this review. Check out the link below in the info box if you'd like to get an Art Snacks subscription. Also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a like and a comment and all that is very much appreciated. Thanks for watching and keep drawing my happy cats. Bye!